Good morning, traders. Well, big news over the weekend is that uh, a tentative debt ceiling deal has been achieved uh, coming into this holiday shortened week. So we should see investors and traders return to their usual programming of, of trying to predict the Fed. And this week's job data on Friday will be a big component in that. Um, so late Saturday, the White House and Republican negotiators announced a, a debt ceiling deal in principle. Uh, still has to get through the House, which will be voted on on Wednesday. Um, so we should see that that kind of fade into the background if all goes to plan of the focus returning uh, on this week's scheduled data. So in the US, we, we're seeing um, interest rate expectations have shifted decidedly hawkish since uh, the Fed's last meeting in May. Um, market interpreted the Fed's statement at the time as signaling there was a pretty high hurdle for any further hikes. Uh, however, since then, strong job numbers, sticky inflation, and a raft of for hawkish uh, Fed speak has seen the hike odds jump to around 66% now. Um, so this week's non-farm payroll on Friday will be uh, more important than usual. Um, one to watch for, for FX traders looking for some volatility. Australia, we've got uh, sticky inflation still, and when the April's inflation is forecast to increase uh, from the previous month's reading. So the year-on-year -year figure is expected out at 6.4% up from 6.3 in March. So with inflation remaining stubborn and, and still far outside the RBA's target band, um, it's really creating a headache for them. And this, uh, the CPI figure coming out this week out of Australia could certainly be an interesting one. The, the futures markets are only pricing in around 2.5% chance of a hike uh, at next week's RBA meeting. So um, with such a one-sided trade, a, a big um, beat on this figure. Uh, we'll see some, I think, some significant repricing of those odds and, and some real volatility in the AUD going along with it. Um, a couple of charts to watch this week. What I'll be watching is one is the NASDAQ. Um, now, tech stocks have been on a real tear lately with this kind of AI-inspired boom. We've seen the likes of NVIDIA hitting all-time highs. Um, with the debt ceiling uh, seemingly done and in the background and its AI optimism still really at the forefront, so I think the NASDAQ has the ability to, to outperform again this week. So it broke pretty strong resistance at 13,720 last week. The next real level that looks on a chart is around the 15,270, uh, with 13,270 now possibly acting as support. Um, another good chart to watch with this week's data is the Aussie dollar. So it's, it's had a bit of a horror run lately, breaking down uh, through support after support level to hit lows of the year last week. Um, we found some pretty good support around this big figure, the 65, the Aussie, Aussie US, I'm saying, yeah, the 65 level. Um, and a lot of that weakness was driven by that risk-off narrative and US dollar strength. So with a debt ceiling deal um, seemingly done, this could see uh, be setting the Aussie up for a bounce off this support level, especially if we get a, a high CPI figure.